There is a new breaking development from Tesla Giga Berlin today, friends. Tesla moves to expand Gigafactory Berlin on a new 250-acre land. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. Tesla has started to officially move to expand Gigafactory Berlin on a new 250-acre lot with the submission of the construction plan to the municipality. The automaker has just started production of the factory, production of Model Y performance, and it is still having issues ramping things up. But that's not stopping the company from already expanding the Gigafactory Berlin. Tesla has ambitious plans for Giga Berlin that includes more vertical integration to limit its exposure to supply chain issues and the ramp up of vehicle production to eventually 1 million electric vehicles. As I have reported already earlier this month, Tesla has been looking to acquire a 100 hectare, which is 250 acres, parcel of land next to its existing property at Giga Berlin. The factory currently sits on about 300 hectares that Tesla acquired for the giant manufacturing project already constructed over the last few years. Imagine Tesla Giga Berlin is one of the largest lands that Tesla owns. I think Giga, Giga Texas is just a little bit bigger, but now Tesla Giga Berlin is expanding even more. The local uh, radio station RBB, which is Brandenburg's public radio, reports that the expansion of Giga Berlin has officially started this week with the submission of the expansion application with the municipality. Okay, if I translate that from Germany, it's going to sound like this. The planned expansion of the Tesla plant in Grünheide on Oder Spree officially started on Wednesday. According to RBB information, the US electric manufacturer Tesla is planning to expand its area in the east by around 100 hectares. However, the development plan B for this area must be changed for this reason. The US electric car manufacturer Tesla has now for submitted an application as the mayor of Grünheide, Arnie Cristiani, which is from Independent, confirmed. Here's a quote from Cristiani. The municipality of Grünheide has submitted an app, was submitted an application to initiate a B plan procedure in the immediate vicinity of the current 300 hectares get a big plan B. So Tesla already has 300 hectares at Giga Berlin and now they want to add another 100 hectares. I think uh, it's not really clear if they want to add another 100 hectares or if they want to just use another 100 hectares from that 300 hectares because currently right now Tesla Giga Berlin is not using all of the 300 hectares. Possibly this 100 hectares is just uh, part of the phase two expansion. Friends, I'm going to follow on this and as I find, find out more information, I will report you. So please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you receive updates from me once I find out more. As you know, this channel, Torque News channel, reports Giga Berlin news several times a week. Now, the council is expected to weigh in on the matter as soon as next week. So next week, we're going to have more information on Giga Berlin's phase two expansion. This is why please uh, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss those reports. And if we are to believe the mayor, it sounds like it's going to be a formally and the expansion should move ahead. Actually, it's going to be a formality. And next week, we should have a lot of important information about Giga Berlin's phase two expansion. However, um, he believes that not unlike the first phase of the project, the official approval is likely to take about a year. In the meantime, Tesla is still working on ramping up Model Y production at the factory, but we hear that there are still some major bottlenecks, especially in the new paint shop. Now, one of the bottlenecks is the probably supply. Another is the uh, is the uh, 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 workers because last I heard, Giga Berlin has hired about 4,000, 4,500 workers, and now we are going to need about 
8,000, 9,000 workers in order to fully ramp up the production of Giga Berlin. So what do you think about all of these friends? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Some of you have asked me if there are any news from Giga Factory, actually not Giga Factory, the Fremont Factory. Well, the latest we've heard is that Tesla might not love California or at least not enough to keep its headquarters in California, Fremont, but California still loves Tesla or at least enough to buy more Tesla vehicles than ever. As I reported several days ago, Tesla sales in California were up 83% this year. To be fair, it's not exactly that Tesla doesn't love California anymore, but CEO Elon Musk hasn't been shy about criticizing the state lately because of the opening and how California handled the virus situation a couple of years ago. It all started during this virus time when Musk was extremely critical of California's restrictions that prevented Tesla from operating the Fremont factory and Tesla desperately needed to operate the Fremont factory then. The CEO CEO at that time threatened that Tesla would move to Texas or Nevada if the state of California wouldn't quickly allow reopening its Fremont factory, which at the time was its largest in the world. Musk being so quick to threats was surprising considering California's long history of helping Tesla rides electric. There is an argument to be made that Tesla wouldn't have succeeded anywhere else early in its history. This argument is written in electric. I disagree. I think, you know, Tesla could handle anything, everything, in, wherever it went, because I don't know how um, um, uh, instrumental California was. But people in California are very, in my opinion, um, EV oriented. So that's a good thing. Uh, California has strong EV incentives for both manufacturers of electric vehicles and buyers creating the biggest EV market in the United States though and making electric vehicles more profitable for electric vehicle manufacturers. Without California, uh, Electric says the market for electric vehicles in the United States would have been almost insignificant until very recently. Right now the market for electric vehicles is very much in demand. I can say I live in North Carolina and Charlotte, North Carolina Carolina, and I see by the number of EVs in my neighborhood and especially in my street. Uh, recently, I saw two Tesla Model Ys in my street and they're both new owners and everyone and the women in the neighborhood talk about that. Tesla ended up officially moving to its headquarters to Texas last year, partly criticizing Musk's threat. However, California has remained Tesla's most important market and it is still growing. The California New Car Dealer Associations released recently its quarter one 2000 2022 report and confirmed that Tesla's deliveries have increased an impressive 83.7% so far this year. Impressive number, right? It's easy to understand how popular Tesla vehicles are in California by looking at the market shares of the Model 3 and Model Y in their respective segment. So, Model 3 holds a massive 65% market share in the new luxury car segment and uh, near luxury car segment and Model Y holds a 55.5% market, market share in the highly competitive luxury compact SUV segment. So these are the latest and I'm have going to have another Tesla story friends today. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. What do you think about Tesla situation in California, Tesla leaving California for Texas and also the expansion of Giga Berlin? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below please subscribe to our channel help us to grow and reach achieve our goals and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage god bless you everyone see you soon in our next report